Join the Dark Order. Join the Dark Order. This is a match that doesn't need a lot of hype or distractions. Just look in the ring. This is going to be an incredible six-man tag match. Well, if this six-man match isn't trending at some point over the next few minutes, there must be something wrong with the internet. With AJ Styles in the ring, you know this match is going to be absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, the only thing I could possibly dislike about the match is that you're calling it with me. Oh, well, it's not gonna be good. This is not gonna be nasty drop. And the steam. Oh, it'll tear the features clean off your face. When a superstar is in a six-man match, one of the most important things to remember is knowing when to tag out and get the fresh member of your team in the ring. We've talked about continuity many times on this program, but it's more than that. You don't want to try to do too much when you have other members of your team out there. AJ Styles looking a little out of his element. You don't see that very often. Corey, you spoke about when a superstar is in six-man action and how crucial it is that they have the presence of mind to realize when they need to tag out. Not everyone who competes as part of a six-man team has the ability to do that. We've seen many times over the years that a superstar's inability to do that has cost their team the match. We've also seen over the years that not all superstars play well with others. Some competitors are so dedicated to singles careers that when they are put in a six-man team, they become a bit lost. That's when a mistake could be made, and it could be very costly.
He might have it. Is he done? Wow, he got out of it. Yeah, I'm not so sure he had it fully locked in. What a stomp. Good grief. Over time, there have been various types of six-man teams that have been successful. There are family trios like the Guerreros, the Grams, the Andersons, and the Von Erichs. There have been members of factions who have also produced tremendous six-man teams like the Fabulous Freebirds, the Four Horsemen, the NWO, and D-Generation X. I think we're going to get the tap. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Byron, you mentioned some families and groups that created incredible six-man teams. Talking more about factions. Don't forget about the likes of the Hart Foundation, Evolution, the Wyatt Family, the Shield, and the New Day. These are only some of the trios who had unbelievable matches against him. Submission move coming up. Looking for it. Submission move. Oh, uh, there it is. It's in. The half crusher. Crusher. This is all but over. Bodies are not supposed to bend that way. Uh -oh. The all oh, oh my goodness, crushing it. Thanks to Raw General Manager Kurt Angle in May of 2017, the WWE Universe saw a dream team come together when the Hardy Boys joined forces with the lunatic fringe Dean Ambrose. The exciting trio took on Sheamus, Cesaro, and The Miz. Truth be told, both Miz and Ambrose Blended in with their impromptu tag team partners pretty well. That's how you wear down your opponent. Byron, we always make a point to talk about continuity amongst team members. In the six-man match, where Dean Ambrose teamed with the Hardys against Sheamus Cesaro and The Miz, both teams worked very well together. That surprised me, since this was the first time they teamed together. But there was something that night about the lunacy of Dean Ambrose fitting perfectly with the Daredevil Hardy Boys. I've got to say, I had goosebumps for a week after the Hardy Boys returned to WWE at 2017's WrestleMania. During that six-man on Raw, Team Extreme formed an effective trio with that lunatic Dean Ambrose. After a twist of fate from Matt Hardy, Jeff crushed The Miz with a swanton bomb. And that was all she wrote. Something that is always important in a six-man match is having the ability to perform double-team moves. One of the things that successful six-man teams try and execute are double-team moves and then have the third team member perform a signature or finishing maneuver to deliver maximum impact to an opponent. Teamwork is always paramount in a six-man tag match. Superstars want to be able to have a level of teamwork where two members of the trio perform a double team move and the third member follows that up with a move so their opponent is really down for the count. The key is to deliver the maximum amount of punishment to your opponent in the least amount of time. You have until the referee's count of five. It's not like you have all day in the ring, but if your team of three can deliver that type of offense, your trio will be in good shape. There are times during a six-man tag match where the hostility between two teams overflows. The result is complete chaos. Styles looking to end this thing. Styles clash. But he's got to capitalize now. He's on the ropes to the left. Wisely stops the count. Byron, you talked about the moment in six-man tag matches when all semblance of order breaks down. Many times, the two teams are so determined to tear each other apart that they don't pay attention to who the legal person in the ring is or where the referee is in their 10 count. That's a huge mistake. In the throes of battle, superstars lose their composure in what was a six-man tag match, breaks down into a Pier 6 brawl. If you don't keep an eye on the referee's count, you could get counted out and be the reason your team loses the match. I can see Byron making that mistake and ruin it for everybody. Oh boy, he is rolling. Luke Gallo starting to slow down a bit. And you know all three of the superstars he's up against won't back down at any point during the Good night. What a stunner. 
to think. I almost wrote him off earlier. He's looking at it. Oh, my goodness. This hurts. Oh! That might have done it, Cole. Oh, no. I don't like Luke Gallo's chances in this one. Don't count out Big LG just yet. What a stop. Good grief. And it grip. His shoulders are down. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? In 2016, the New Day found themselves in the middle of a sick and twisted rivalry with the Wyatt family. Things escalated to the point where Bray Wyatt invited the New Day to do oh. battle at the Wyatt family compound. The New Day accepted, but what followed was something no one expected. Here it comes! Looking for! He's making a statement here with this attack. Corey, we've talked about six man. Here it comes, Michael. Truth or consequences. Wow, what a gritty performance. Yeah, that'll leave a mark. He's playing with him now. Uh oh. Here we go. Here we go. Face first. I'd be shocked if Gallows has anything left. Six-man tag team matches have been a staple of competition since the early days of sports entertainment. Two teams of three compete against one another under traditional tag team rules. Stipulations can be added like no disqualification, two out of three fall. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Six-man tags can be fought under so many different types of stipulations. Teams can be part of a faction. The three superstars of the line because of a common interest. The most crucial aspect to a six-man tag team being successful is that trio's ability to act as one cohesive unit. Three individuals working collectively at all times. So much can take place during a six-man tag match. Regardless of what type of match the teams of three are competing in, the members of that team must be on the same page. Oftentimes, the teams who have the best continuity are the most successful. AJ Styles has the uncanny ability to make big matches even bigger. Case in point, his show-stealing match against Shane McMahon at WrestleMania 33. Styles looks like he wants to do it all by himself. Half pressure! I'm not sure how much he has left. Ooh, what impact. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. You know, Michael, AJ Styles entered WrestleMania with a chip on his shoulder. Styles had a lot of frustration about Shane's handling of the number one contendership and took it out with some brutal offense. Yeah, but you can tell both competitors earned a lot of respect for each other after that match, as Shane recruited Styles to help in his matches against Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Look at Luke Gallows go. Styles looking to end this thing. Styles class. It is shoulders on the back. There are instances when a six-man tag match will feature a team where superstars have not always seen eye to eye or are in the midst of a disagreement. And that's the case. Someone on the team must step up and be the voice of reason so the trio can function as a cohesive unit. Beautiful technique. I don't know how much more damage AJ Styles can take. We're about to find out. He's absolutely running on fumes right now. I'm not used to seeing this. Hooked up in the pump handle. Just a debilitating neck breaker. That has got to be it. We've arrived. It's about time for the bitter end. Kenny, he goes for the cover. And he breaks up the pinfall. Let's keep fighting. Not so fast. Thanks to Raw General Manager Kurt Angle in May of 2017, the WWE Universe saw a dream team come together when the Hardy Boys joined forces with the lunatic fringe Dean Ambrose. 
The exciting trio took on Sheamus, Cesaro, and The Miz. Truth be told, both Miz and Ambrose blended in with their impromptu tag team partners pretty well. We might just see it here. And this there it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Here he goes. Down with a power bomb. Here's his moment, Michael. That slam just brought this entire arena to its feet. Perhaps a power bomb here, Corey. That certainly seems to be the case. Looks like a power bomb coming up. There may be no escaping this one, Cole. What a strike! He's looking at it. What a face buster! Just when you thought he had nothing left. And if you thought the first one was brutal. He may get the three count right here. This is it. Two. Three. Join the Dark Order. Join the Dark Order.